This is a short instructional video on how to bend a lower 3x3 fixed retainer bonded only to the cuspids. For that we use TMA arch wire. It's an 032 TMA arch wire that we get from uh, Ormco in long lengths. We cut those lengths just to have a supply. We cut them short and keep them on hand. And the first thing, uh, first thing I do when I'm bending these, uh, one thing I do is I look at the the model and uh, knowing ahead of time that I'm going to be using a diamond burr in the mouth to reduce to remove the shiny surface of the enamel, I know that I can I can make some slight changes just to make it easier to bend the wire. So I often I'll reduce that mesial marginal ridge of the cuspid a little bit just to make an easier transition there and then in the mouth I'll do the same thing. Uh, the first step in bending the wire is to uh, make the arch form and I do that just with a bird beak. You can do that with whatever you want to use. Uh, you could use a hollow chop plier. I uh, like to just get the arch shape with a bird beak like this. And, uh, and the next step, once we get the arch shape approximately where we want it is to make a 45 degree bend in one end of the wire. That point on that bend, that bend will be interproximally positioned right between the uh, two and the three on the final wire. And I'll hold that in position Sometimes I need to make uh, offset bends for the laterals. You know, that doesn't happen all the time, but I'll make a mark where I need to make a little offset bend for the lateral. And I'll take a three beak and make a little bayonet type bend here, in and out, just so it adapts better to the model, even a little more. And I'll hold that where I have it and uh, the next point looks like I need to make a small uh, adjustment here and my other bayonet little bayonet bend will be over here at this lateral so I'll mark that ahead of time I'll bend this wire down a little here put another offset here between the lateral and the central Then I'll mark the next 45 degree bend point. And I'll put the 45 degree bend with the bird beak. Now that bend is going to parallel, I perfectly parallel the bend on the other side. And you can uh, easily do that if you leave the end of that wire a little bit long. You can control it and make the two sides parallel each other and then cut off the excess. Okay, I made that I made that just a little long. It's easy enough to fix by taking the bird beak, take the flat end of the bird beak, squeeze that wire flat again and then make a new bend a little bit shorter there. Okay, so now we've got that adapted to the model. The last thing I'll do before we fit it in the mall is feather edge the ends of these wires so that the composite doesn't have to be as thick. You want to end up with the 
end of the wire at about halfway onto the cusp like that. So the last thing we do is feather edge the end of the wire with either a, a diamond burr, green stone, heatless stone, anything you want to do here just to make that thinner so that the composite doesn't have to be as thick on the tooth. That's it.